Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you are doing well. Today we are going to restoration vintage Mecha brand stereo tip deck 8 track player. According to my plan, I will modification this player into an integrated amplifier with a new USB player input. Eight track cassettes are hard to find here. So this device need to be modified to keep it working. According to the information I received, this brand was made in Nagoya, Japan around 1970 by Marua Electronic and Chemical Company Limited. Let's immediately see the step to modify and change it into an integrated amplifier. As to replace the capacitor. To make it easier to remove the remaining capacitor pins, I recommend cutting the pin a little upward. The nominal value of the capacity is 500 microfarad, working voltage 15 volt. And I don't have stock with 500 microfarad. Finally, I replace it with a nominal value of 470 microfarad. Schematic wiring diagram connector to motor is like this. Solder black, red, and yellow wires to the input of the motor regulator. Then position the PCB to sit. Place the motor on the mount. Place the PCB of the motor reactor. Tighten the two pieces of PCB regulator screw, then one piece of PCB reactor screw. Then put and tighten the three pieces of motor mount screw. Solder two pieces of wires starting from negative then positive on the regulator PCB. Then I tidy up the cable leading to the DC motor to make it look neater. Unscrew the tone potentiometer nut then continue the volume potentiometer. Unscrew the M 2.5 mm bolts, then continue to unscrew the chassis bolt size 2.5 mm too. Lift then pull out the main PCB. We should remove the balance potentiometer first. This is amazing. This is the first time I have seen a cassette player using such powerful components. Imagine the final transistor using TO3 packaging. Now 
this cassette player need maintenance as well one of them is me by cleaning the PCB from dust to clean the crust on the potentiometer tracking we have to spray to cleaning feet this aim to prevent cracking sound when the potentiometer is rotated Because we don't use this head magnetic cable, so we don't should just remove it or cut it. The cable that goes to motor is also removed because when we use the USB, we don't need it. This is a sensor for the tip in the player. Thank you for watching. See you next time.